يا ربي بي المصطفى بلغ مقاصدنا واغفر لنا ما مضى يا واسع بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله وكفى وسلام على عباده الذين اصطفى خصوصا على سيد الرسل وخاتم الانبياء وعلى اله الاسكيا واصحابه الاتقيا اما بعد um, today ان شاء الله i just wanted to share a thought uh, with those who can view those who are viewing who can hear me we are blessed by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in many ways and one of the greatest blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are the dear ones that are around us. They may be the kids that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with or the beautiful spouse that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us the opportunity to wake up with and to rest with. But it seems as if sometimes we become so accustomed to these blessings of Allah azza wa jal that we end up abusing them. There is actually a very important principle in life that we have to remember. That with every single bounty with every single bounty, there comes a responsibility. And with every responsibility, there comes accountability. Allah Azza wa Jal says in the Quran, Now the reason why I bring this up for this particular clip of ours is because in our community we've seen over the past few years and a crazy influx in domestic violence. And this violence has been taking place between parents and their kids, um, husband and wife, Husbands are beating their wives up, wives are going crazy on their husbands. And the domestic violence is not only uh, physical violence, we're talking about emotional violence, we're talking about verbal violence, we're talking about physical violence, all levels. We have to always remember that we are questionable by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For every time we raise our voice against our children or our spouse, we should remember that Allah will ask us regarding this on the Day of Judgment. If there's ever a time that we frown on our children or our loved ones in anger, then we are accountable by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this. For not being equal to them and being unjust to them, we are accountable by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the Day of Judgment. For striking or saying bad words to them, we are accountable to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remember the very powerful hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, أَلَا كُلُّكُمْ رَاعٍ وَكُلُّكُمْ مَسْؤُولٌ عَنْ رَعِيَّتِهِ each and every one of you is a shepherd and you will be asked by Allah regarding them, regarding your flock on the Day of Judgment. Now that's one side. So we should be careful, we should be mindful, we should be fearful of Allah of ever oppressing any person. Never ever oppress anyone. Because Allah Azza wa will hold you accountable for your oppression. Never believe you got away with it. Never believe. Maybe the brothers and father of the girl may not know. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will get you for that oppression. Be very careful of this. Now the other part of the story that's very important, those people that are being oppressed, whether your kids being oppressed by your parents, whether your sibling being oppressed by your sibling, whether it's the parents being oppressed by the children, or a husband being oppressed by the wife, or the wife being oppressed by the husband, you should know that you are a part of an ummah. And this ummah belongs to the Prophet wasallam. Every person from this ummah is a brother for you. Every sister from this ummah is a sister to you. Every community leader is a father to you. Do not suffer in silence. Reach out to your community leaders. Reach out to your imams. Go out and talk to your local psychologists. Reach out to your elders. But don't suffer in silence. Those who are oppressing, you should help them. But the way you help them is by stopping their oppression. And by remaining silent to their oppression, you are not helping the cause, you are worsening the situation. So, in summary, we should be fearful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should be mindful of Allah. And remember that we are one large nation that belongs to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ultimately, we have to all stand in front of Allah azza wa jal. For those who do good, they will be rewarded. For those who do wrong, they will be punished. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pardons us for our weaknesses and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us strength. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us patience and forbearance and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows us to stand up for the truth and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows us to execute justice within our communities. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi, subhanakallahum wa bihamdik, nashadu an la ilaha illa ant, nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk, akhir da'wana, alhamdulillah rabbil alameen, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.